Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this short video, I'm going to be talking about the structure of the proximal humerus, the third bone involved in the shoulder girdle. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we're looking at the proximal humerus, and there are a number of structures that I want to point out, and the the, the pr structures are right here identified for us. Uh, but before I talk about those structures, I want to talk about the fact that when we look at the humerus and we look at the head of the humerus, it projects medially, so that's it's going medially, Right now we're looking at the left humerus, so it's projecting medially. It's also projecting superiorly and posteriorly, so that's going back. Uh, so if I want to tell if this is a left or a right humerus, what I would do is I would take this humerus and make sure that the head is pointing superiorly, posteriorly, and medially, and that will show whether it's left or right. All right, so now for the structures on of the, of the humerus. The first one I want to point out is the head of the humerus. We've spoken about that before, but that's right here. Um, but then we also have these two tuberosities. It's identified as here, but I'm going to call them the greater and the lesser tubercles. You can see it here. This is the greater one. It's going to be bigger, and this is going to be the lesser tubercle, and that's going to be smaller. If I look over here, uh, this is also a left humerus, and you see we have the lesser tubercle, and we have the greater tubercle. And in between those tubercle, we have this little groove, and that groove is called the intertubercular groove. It's also called the bicipital groove, and that's because we have the tendon of the long head of the biceps uh, that's coming through here. And we're going to talk about that, of course, in a later video. Another thing I want to point out about the greater tubercle is that we have three facets. And you can kind of see that here. We have the superior facet, then we have the middle facet, and the inferior facet of the greater tubercle and that's going to come in handy when we talk about some of the muscles that connect with the humerus. All right, some other things right between the humeral head and the tubercles is where we find the anatomical neck. Just looking at it, it looks like the neck of the humerus, um, and that just makes sense. This is the anatomical neck right between the humeral head and the tubercles. However, we also have a surgical neck, and the reason why we distinguish that is because this is very, um, it, it's, it's a very common place of breakage. So when we have fractures and broken bones, this is a very common place, and this is why we refer to that. Uh, surgeons would refer to this as the surgical neck. There's one more structure that I want you to be aware of, and that is the deltoid tuberosity. We have a tuberosity as we go as we go more distal down the uh, humerus. We have this deltoid tuberosity. Now, before I move on, I just thought about something else to point out. Okay, so here we have the greater tubercle, and then it kind of comes down, and we have what we call the crest of the greater tubercle, which is this structure here, and the crest of the lesser tubercle. Uh, so the crest of the greater tubercle and the crest of the lesser tubercle. And those crests, as I mentioned before, this is the intertubercular groove. So this crest here, the crest of the greater tubercle, would be the lateral lip, right here, the lateral lip of that intertubercular groove. And this crest here, that would be the medial lip of the intertubercular groove. And that's just for um, when we refer to some of the muscles, once again, that insert on that, we'll refer to the lateral and the medial lip of the uh, intertubercular groove. And I want you to be aware of that. So let's review. As usual, you can turn your volume down if you would like to test your skills and see how much you remember. So here we have the head of the humerus. Here we have the anatomical neck. This would be the greater tubercle, and this is the lesser tubercle. 
this would be the surgical neck. This would be the deltoid tuberosity. This structure here is the intertubercular groove or the bicipital groove. On the greater tubercle, we have the superior facet, the middle facet, and the inferior facet. Right here we have the crest of the greater tubercle or the lateral lip and here we have the crest of the lesser tubercle or the medial lip of the intertubercular groove. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you'd like to get more videos like this and other resources to help make biology fun, visit the website at interactive-biology.com. This is Leslie Samuel. That's all for now, and I'll see you in the next video.